I mean, Ryan was incredible to work with. He is, he is super involved. He throws himself into a project. You can tell by the amount of hair that grows on his face and his head while he's working like a mad scientist. He's really in it. And uh, he was, he used to be a foot ball player and he kind of brings that to how he directs it's like he's a coach and we are his team and we're all working together towards a goal and so it's very collaborative very involved very intense I mean what doesn't Chadwick bring to the character. I mean, he's regal and he's um, grounded and he brings a gravitas to it. And he's extremely handsome, easy on the eyes. And uh, he also has incredible martial arts training as well that he brought to the, the role. Also, he's an insane drummer, people might want to know. And he has incredible rhythm. So all of this feeds his T'Challa and uh, I think he wore the crown with dignity. <laughs> a bit of a rebel but also a loyalist for her country and she is in conflict with some of the ideals of her nation and wants to go her own way but she is also really eager to serve the country she loves so much and T'Challa uh, now as king they are kind of at odds as to what the way forward is for the nation uh, but they also have some history together so uh, they have to kind of come to terms with that and figure out how to forge ahead. The stunt training was intense, <laughs> to say the least. But you know, as I got my ass kicked um, in stunt training, training, it always brought me closer to, I felt more connected to Nakia's warrior spirit. Um, she is a woman that has traveled the world and so her fighting style is informed by her experiences in the world. Um, Ryan described her style as street, you know, where the Dora Milaje have a way more um, uh, graceful uh, style of fighting, way more, um, again, traditional style of fight fighting. Nakia is like, by any means necessary, <laughs> you know. And uh, so there was a little bit of judo and jujitsu and Filipino martial arts, uh, capoeira, um, Muay Thai, all thrown in there. We have here a Marvel Universe that is unapologetically black. And to see us occupy an African country with kings and queens and warriors, and it's so inspiring. It's an aspirational nation that um, really just kind of is rejuvenating to the human spirit. And um, yeah, I mean, it was, it's just an incredible world to occupy. And I hope that people who see this can be equally inspired and, and just to see a world um, as that could exist, you know.